Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing low-carb diet, the pros and the cons. So definitely there are advantages and disadvantages of the low-carb diet, and I will go through them now and from my own personal experience and my own opinion. So some of the advantages of eating low-carb is that definitely if you're looking to lose some weight, so for weight loss, this is a great approach, especially if you were addicted to carbohydrates, and I mean, the wrong carbohydrates. So I'm talking the sweets, the sugar, and a lot of the grains that are ultra refined. This can really spike your insulin levels and cause something called insulin insensitivity. So this is a problem in terms of syndrome X and developing the fact that your insulin receptors are no longer able to recognize that insulin and use it appropriately. And then you have high blood glucose levels and then you can run down the road of developing diabetes. So it's definitely from a preventative standpoint for our metabolic functioning and for prevention of diabetes, the low carb diet is definitely the way to go. Another advantage is that yes, you know, besides just the fat loss, you'll also lose water weight that your body could be holding on to when you are eating too many carbohydrates. So that's one of the great things when people start to go low carb is that they lose and flush out that water water weight, especially in the first couple of weeks. And that's, you know, it's quite motivating for anybody who's trying to lose weight, especially if you've been overweight for a period of time. Now the, I have to say though, as soon as we say the word diet, so, you know, I have a few videos now what I'm giving the pros and cons of different types of diets, the whole word diet, I don't love the idea of going on any type of diet because that, you know, in, from a mental, emotional perspective, that gives the idea of, okay, you're going to do this for a period of time and then you can stop the diet and go back to the way that you were eating. Well, that's not the way that we should look at diet. The diet should be, you know, what you incorporate into your daily routine and eating at regular intervals in sync with nature is important. But, you know, seeing this as a lifestyle change and not just sort of a diet, a fad diet that you're going on for a period of time. Now, some of the disadvantages of the low carb diet is that it is very restrictive. So for anybody who's done low carb, or if you're staying low carb, you know, if you're going to do it 100% the way that some people say that you should do a low carb diet, then the ratio of your food intake really does limit having enough of sometimes the, even the healthy carbohydrates. And, you know, God forbid you want a treat or a little bit of sugar here and there, you know, which I all think we should indulge in once in a while. And that's important in terms of having a healthy lifestyle is to allow ourselves those treats. But, you know, being very restrictive on a low carb diet can have some disadvantages and you can run into some new nutrient and mineral deficiencies. So finding, you know, a wholesome way of doing this is, you know, probably my best recommendation. And in my own personal experience, low carb diet is probably the way that I eat most of the time. I have found the alternatives for the things that I used to love to eat, you know, in, in quantities and sort of scaling back on having to have sugar and that because I do have a sweet tooth and I know a lot of people do, um, but finding the healthier alternatives to be able to curb that that you know sugar and that taste for sugar and also dealing with my own sugar addiction. I didn't realize that I was, you know, sort of getting a high and that's because of our dopamine release in the brain. So check out my episode. If you've missed it on sugar addiction, maybe you're in the same boat and you don't even know that you're addicted to sugar, but it is a real thing and you can kick the sugar habit and you'll feel so much better. Your energy levels will feel so much better. Headaches disappear, your skin clears up, you look younger. So those are all the advantages. So make sure you check out that episode on sugar addiction here on YouTube and you will get some great tips there. So I hope you learned something new today and be sure to share this video with someone who you think will benefit. Maybe, you know, somebody you know is ultra restrictive with the diet and or maybe they need to lose some weight and, they, and they're addicted to the carbs and things. And some of the advantages of going low carb is that rapid weight loss at the beginning. And, but still, you know, in my opinion, adding some of those healthy carbs in, especially from healthy fruits and vegetables 
is probably a good way to go to have a well-rounded diet. I'd love to hear your comments. If you've experienced, you know, the pros and the cons yourself, or you've got some other tips, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and also give me a big thumbs up. I hope that, you know, you enjoyed this video and that you've shared it with your friends. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you're subscribed. So click that subscribe button. Also click that bell so you get notified and click all notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads, which is every single day. Remember to take good care of your health and to always do it naturally. Thanks for joining me today.